guys, it's Lee, and I'm back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. I had intended to do one earlier this week, but I couldn't really find that much at my stores that I wanted to buy. So I finally have enough for a haul, so I thought I'd go ahead and film it and share it with you today. First up, I picked up some more of these Apple Cinnamon Checks. They are so good. Everyone in the house loves them. So I went ahead and got them, and they are good until April. I'm sure they're good a little past April, but they'll probably be gone before then anyway. So I got three boxes of those. Next, I picked up three more of these Tasty Bite Organic Brown Rice Steamed Rice Packets. They are the 90 Second Rice. These are a product of... Oh, this one says Made in Canada. So these are a product of Canada. I thought the ones I bought before were like a product of India. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Anyway, it says Made in Canada. So I got three more of those. And $1.25, they don't want to stand up, is a really good price for those because the cheapest place I have found them, other than Dollar Tree, is at Aldi. And Aldi doesn't always have them. So I just grabbed three more at Dollar Tree. Next up, I picked up some candy bars to take to Ireland. Now, I know I keep buying stuff to take. I'm actually going to be packing my suitcase or as much as I can because I'm going to need some of my clothes before I go. But I'm going to be packing my suitcases this weekend to make sure I have room for all this stuff. So these are for my daughter's friends. Now, I already picked up some Butterfinger candy bars at um, a grocery store. I think it was, I can't remember where. So I found these Baby Ruth. I got two of them, and they're each a six-pack. Before you say anything about the prices, um, I know it's $2.50 for 12 of them, but one bag of the Baby Ruth was $3.99. And to be honest with you, I don't have space for a lot of stuff. So 12 of these, $2.50, it's perfect for me. So I got Baby Ruth. I'm trying to find candy bars that they don't have in Ireland. And these are for her Irish friends or her American friends if they want them. I got Almond Joy, which I'm going to have to hide from my husband because these are his favorite candy bar ever. Um, so yeah, I got two of those. I like those two actually. I picked up two of the Milky Way candy bars and two of the Three Musketeers, which I know my daughter really loves. So if she shares those, I'll be surprised. <laughs> anyway, so I got all that candy to take with me, as well as, like I said, a bag of Butterfinger that I got at the grocery store. Next up, I just picked up a few more t-shirts. You can never have enough t-shirts. Well, you can, but anyway, I got this white t-shirt. It is a Hanes shirt. It's just a plain white t-shirt. I just bumped my camera. So then I got this shirt for my son in this orange it's like a heathered I think that's what they call it anyway my husband has this shirt and it looks so gonna good on him because he has sort of an olive complexion and that color looks amazing then I just got this plain gray Hanes sweatshirt this one the orange one was Gildan if I didn't say that I don't think I did plain gray Hanes t-shirt And then also by Gildan, I got this maroon t-shirt. All right, I didn't do the best job folding them, but they'll be fine. Next up, I couldn't help myself. I know, I'm starting to think I have a problem, but I bought socks. Actually, I don't think it's a problem at all. Socks are something that you can stash away and use as you need them. It's not like food that expires. So I am not a sock quarter, and I don't care what you say. <laughs> anyway, I found these gold toe socks with the beer mugs on them. Oh, I have it upside down, but you know what I mean. I thought these were super adorable. So I got one pair, that's the Greyhound. I got one pair for my husband and one pair for my younger son. So I thought they would like them. What does the price? They were $8 originally. So $1.25 is an excellent deal. And then I got this pair. I only got one because I couldn't remember if I had bought these before. That's pretty sad, right? But I don't think I have them. And I don't know what those are. Are those like fishing hooks? What are those supposed to be? 
I don't know. I picked up one pair. I can give these to my older son and that way I have, you know, new socks for everybody. Because, you know, they all need new socks. Then I found these. I only picked up one. Um, and they are Therapy Plus Non-Binding Men's Crew Socks. Ideal for symptoms of diabetes. Smooth toe seam. Wicks mo wix <laughs> moisture. Antimicrobial protection. And I don't know how much these went for. Does it say? I thought maybe it said under that label, but it doesn't. I just got one of those for my husband to try. And then I found these gold toe boot socks. So I just picked up one pair of these as well. And these were also $8. I assume these were too. Yeah, those were $8 originally as well. Sorry about the Greyhound walking around. Um, for those of you who wanted to see a picture of him, you've mentioned before, my last Dollar Tree haul, Dollar Tree haul has a picture of him, the cat, and my two long-haired chihuahuas. So it's in the beginning of the video. And then lastly for socks, I found some more mossy oak socks. So I got these mossy oak lightweight over the calf socks in black. Uh, I don't see a price on these. So I picked up one pair of those, and these are in size large. The other, I think it was the other mossy oak socks I bought were a little too tight in the calf for my husband. So my sons have those. Anyway, so I just picked up one in case, you know, just my son wants it. And then I found these ladies mossy oak socks. They are in medium, and it says it fits a shoe size of 7 to 10 and a half. And I thought they were really cool. They're pink. I like pink. So I got two pairs of those for me. I just liked them, so I grabbed them. Then I found these Jones sodas made, made with cane sugar. So I picked up one of each. I got the orange and cream soda. I got, these are 12 ounces. Then I picked up the green apple soda. I think my oldest will really like that. He loves apple flavored things. And then I got just a plain cream soda. It says 25th anniversary and that was in 2021. So what is the expiration on these? They don't expire. Well, this one doesn't till 2023. Yeah, they don't expire till expire until November 2023. So I picked up just one of each of those to try. I have a bag of chips just because I wanted a bag of chips. And then I got, then I grabbed these 40 watt chandelier bulbs just because I needed them. I bought another pack of what I like to call purse tums. I just like to keep one of these in my purse and the ones I had are all gone. So. I got one more pack of that. I wanted a nail file to take with me, so I thought this would be a good idea. It's tiny and it has a case. So I got one and I really like the design on this one. It's very pretty. I like blue. I saw these Betty Crocker coil candles. There are four of them and I went ahead and picked them up because I think they're cool and they're nice to have on hand in case you know you have an impromptu birthday party. <laughs> Next up, I grabbed two of these containers, and they are, I was trying to see if they have a name. It says, Crystalline Housewares, Box Mini Storage Cosmetics, Sewing Kit, Snacks, and Toys. And I picked up two of them. I thought it would be nice if I need to put something in my luggage, or if not, it's nice just to have here at home. I definitely can find uses for these little boxes. So next up I picked up some stickers um, because heaven knows I need more stickers. I found this one that I thought was so cool. They are animal skin hearts but also rainbow colors. Um, so there are 112 in here and I got them because I think they're really neat. I just like them so I picked those up. And then I got two of this one because look at it. You get 12, 12 stickers, you get 12 counts. You get a 12 count, 12 stickers, whatever. Aren't they beautiful? They are so pretty. So 
So of course I got two of those. I love them. And you can't even see them because of the lighting. Next up I got this hard candy fox in a box and it says scratch and sniff vanilla frosting. This is marbleized baked highlighter. I only got one of them. I'm pretty sure they've had these before. I'm pretty sure I bought one a long time ago. But yeah, I went ahead and just picked up one. I can show you guys and then I know somebody who can use it so that's why I bought it. Next up, I thought this was so cool. It's a matcha latte lip smacker, best flavor ever lip balm. I got two of these and this is what, let's see if it'll focus. It's just a lip balm inside. You unscrew the top and there's a lip balm in there. I think it's cool. I like green tea, I like matcha and so does my daughter. So I picked up two of those. Aren't those cool? Neither of us drinks coffee, but we both like green tea. Then I picked up these little stationary kits because again, I need more stationary kits. I just don't, but this is super pretty. I love the pink and the flowers. It's beautiful. And when you open it up, it has these little notepads in there. So cute. And then I also bought this one with the B on it. I don't know if you can hear the Greyhound whining or not, but he has an hour till it's lunchtime, but he's already whining. So anyway, I got this and this is what it looks like on inside, on side, I don't know what I'm saying. I thought it was so cute, so I got that. And then I picked up these little sticky note packs because, you know, like I just said, I don't have enough stationary items, which is a total lie. But look at this one with the cherries on it. It is so cute. You open it up and look at all of the sticky notes. Look at them. Look at the little cherries. They're so adorable. And there are some page flags. So I got that. And this is a Jot product. So it should be in most of the stores. I would say all, but there's so many people who say they never see stuff like this. And then I got this one with the alpaca because it's freaking adorable. So when you open it up, you get the plain ones. Look at that. Look at that. And look at those. Might help if I put it back so you could actually see it. But aren't they adorable? So cute. I don't know why I said it in a creepy voice. But I got that. So then I got this Easter sign. It's the only Easter thing I got. I just thought it was so cute. And I like to hang these on my front door. And we also have a cabinet, of like a side of one of our cabinets that I put the little um, hangers on, like the command strip hangers on. And I put signs there too. So when you walk in the kitchen, you can see them. And that's because I have too many of these signs. I can't put them all on the front door. So I hang them there. And that's pretty much the only holiday decoration in our house. Inside, I mean, other than Christmas. I just don't decorate for holidays, but I thought this one was super cute. And then the last items I picked up in the store, I just love. I bought one, I can't even remember if it was last year or the year before, and it's still working. So I have hopes that these will work. You never know um, with these things. But they are the Butterflies in a Jar Solar Lights. They're just calling them a solar steak light but they have a butterfly in them and the light is actually in the top and they are so pretty when they're lit. So I got this one with the green butterfly. When you buy them, hang on. When you buy them, make sure this little tab is in there so that you, whoops, so that you can pull it out. Um, so make sure that little tab is in there and make sure the stake is in the bottom because you just flip it around to stake it into whatever I just busted into the camera again but yeah I love these so I got the green butterfly the blue butterfly look at that blue that is a gorgeous color stay still the yellow and I saw these at a few stores so hopefully <laughs> not gonna stay still and then the red isn't that gorgeous it's very vibrant, vibrant red. It's looking a little orangish on my viewfinder, but it is red. So I got that as well. I don't know if they're gonna sit still. All right, so that's everything I got. 
at several Dollar Trees this week. I had to go to quite a few just to find this stuff. My stores just don't have a lot of new stuff right now. So this is the best I could do for the whole week. So I hope you enjoyed it. So now I'm gonna show you the pictures of the items I saw in the store but didn't buy. And I thought you might like to see them. So check those out and meet me right back here. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified every time I upload new videos. Also, I want to let you know that I do plan on uploading videos while I'm in Ireland. I don't know what they're going to be just yet. Um, Hopefully once a week while I'm there, maybe more depending on what I'm doing. I'm not a vlogger. I don't really know how to vlog, but I will do my best to at least get a few videos up while I'm gone. So I do have um, a little time before I leave and I do plan on getting some videos up next week as well. Hopefully I can find enough stuff to do more than one Dollar Tree. The Greyhound is insisting I feed him even though it's too early. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll take him for a walk when I'm done with this. Um, anyway, so keep an eye out for those and I really appreciate it if you would watch whatever content I can put out while I'm in Ireland. It would really help my channel. And also maybe just go to my YouTube page and check out some of my playlists there. That would really help keep my channel going while I'm away. So anyway, you can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 5 Thanks for watching. Bye.